hey guys what's up everyone welcome again to another video upload from the apb training channel my name is apex Lenio, and in today's video tutorial we're going to be looking at yet another rack review another rack analysis video in which we we kind of highlight the thought process of amateur players of course my own thought process and of course it is definitely not to highlight the incompetence of my opponents or myself but it's more on the side of looking at the thought process of past experiences in which myself and also my viewers can learn from and move on to become better pro players so of course during this analysis i'll just be looking at um the rock uh, the thought process of myself, what could have, what went wrong, what went right, and what could have been done a lot better. So, of course, if you enjoy these rack analysis videos, consider smashing the subscribe button below, turning on your post notification bell, leaving me a like, leaving me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these sort of videos, and of course, definitely aim to become better by learning from other players thought process and experience all right now in the next couple of uploads you're going to be seeing racks from this particular match and of course again as i mentioned before it is not to highlight how well or how bad one plays but it is definitely to learn from my experience so that we can become better players all right so do look out for a couple more uploads and of course let's get into the rack so right away, uh, my opponent started off there with a pretty good break. Unfortunately, he did not pocket a ball. He has left me with a really, really interesting layout here. But already, you can see, after basically assessing the rack, you can see that I'm already down. I've made my first shot. But of course, I've put myself here in a little bit of a bother. All right. And of course, feel free to pause the video. Of course, let me know what shot you would have taken first or of course, did I make the right decision back then when I was playing this particular match? What would you have done instead? So of course, I chose, to ch I chose the stripes simply because of the problem with that. I believe it's the three ball that is tied up behind the 14. And the reason why I have chosen the stripes is because I already have a breakout ball that is somewhere down here. In which depending on the angle that i get on the 11 ball i should be able to break out the 14 from the three ball so i've already made two really decent shots here in the rack and of course that is my third shot there pretty much a good applaud from the crowd here for an excellent recovery of course the first shot is what kind of put me into the problem that i'm actually in and so i have to be working my way through the rack the first shot kind of put my 14 ball in a bit of a problem. There already I'm assessing how I'm going to get onto that shot there. But now I'm pretty much kind of in a prime position. I pretty much just need to get the right angle on the 11 ball here to get a breakout on the 14 ball. So I'm playing with a bit of stone draw here off the rail. Well, I really wanted to come off the rail and back out to the middle of the table, but I got a friendly bump there on that five ball. But that friendly bump really has left me with an ideal angle here for the breakout. Now, I'm just going to be loading this with a bit of top right spin here into the rail and hoping for a decent breakout here on the 14. And that was a pretty, pretty good shot there. Nicely done. And I'm on the 14. But it is not the best angle here because now i'm pretty close to the 14 and i do not have an angle that i need to bring me to the left side of the ball that is closest to the eight so i'm pretty much gonna have to set up with a long shot here and i have to be careful not to push the cue ball too much because of course this could possibly be a foul so i may have to settle with a long cut shot on the 14 and please bear in mind guys that we're playing on an eight foot table so the margin for error when playing certain shots or positions is really really small and you have to have really good ball pocketing skills and of course good cue ball control so i've just pretty much just decided to take the long cut here on this shot and hopefully if i can just kind of use that i believe it's the one ball as a stopper i should be able to get decent position for the run out but 
let's see here i'm down on to this final ball here and of course let's see if we can get this down and of course as expected it was a tough shot i really hoped to meet the shot but i actually missed and i mean the intent was to bump into the one for a stopper which i did but i unfortunately missed the shot so as I mentioned before earlier in the intro guys, it is in no way shape or form to highlight what my opponent has done wrong. But it is definitely for me, for you and for anybody else who is seeing this to really look at and learn from. I believe once the great Efren Battery has said that you will learn from every player. You learn from both the amateurs and the professionals but you learn more from an amateur because sometimes they'll play a shot that you're never going to imagine and sometimes they make certain errors that you know and you now learn that you ought not to make for example here he has decided to take the first shot on and he has got himself immediately into a bother and he had a he had a very awkward stance there look at that shot for example where he had his elbow high up into the ear he was jacking up i'm not sure what the intent was i'm not sure if he's really serious about the rock but clearly just that setup there alone was not ideal and I believe that even when he selected his first shot there it really really did not I don't think he gave it enough time to assess the rock because pretty much in his layout as I'm gonna post a screenshot here on the screen for you I believe that he literally could have played some sort of defensive shot or maybe go after that seven ball that is tied up with the two because that is his only problem area and of course he just pretty much just went down and kind of shot and if you notice that his demeanor around the table and as he's going about the rock he's pretty much moving very fast i don't think he's thinking clearly about what he's doing and of course here we can see another i, I mean this is an unforgiving blunder at any level amateur semi-amateur semi-professional i mean making a blunder like that trying to play a safety and of course not hooking your opponent clearly at any level you're going to be punished and that's exactly the repercussion that he's about to face here. He has left me with a clear straight in shot, not even bridging, on the rail. I have a clear look at the cue ball and with a decent stroke and a stop shot there, I have a shot here on the 8. Alright, so hopefully you guys learned something from this rack. I'm not sure how much value you got from it. But of course, look out for the other two videos that are coming out. I'm going to be highlighting a couple of the players. You know, I mean, there's always something to learn from every single rack. And as I'm here doing a voiceover commentary, I'm looking at errors that I have made and errors that my opponent have made. And this is only building me to become a better player. So, of course, if it is that you enjoy the contents that are being posted here on the channel, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button below, turn on your post notification bell, please leave me a like and a comment. And, of course, the player that is racking up at the moment, that's Lee Miller, and he will be the player in the other upload. Do take care. Until next time, Apex Selenium signing out. Keep on practicing with consistency, precision, and Next level.